Hello, this is Ryan Burkhardt, and today I'm going to talk about Model A bearing clearances and how to measure them. First, you want to make sure that the surface you're going to measure is clear and free of dirt. Then you're going to put a strip of plastic gauge across it, put your bearing cap on, and torque. Once you remove the cap, you'll be able to compare to the plastic gauge strip. This will indicate the approximate clearance that you have. So if you have to adjust your clearance, um, you have shims. Um, keep them marked on each side um, and they're layered so this is what one of the layers is um, it's a you have to measure it but uh, most of them come in three thousandths um, and when you're adjusting it remove only one side at a time one layer one side and remeasure um, and then alternate layers uh, until you get the clearances you want um, you can put them back in if you need to but as you can see they curl up and it's a little difficult to get them back in, but you can do it. Um, so yes, just take your time and uh, remove one at a time from one side, recheck your clearance, and then go back. And uh, you, if you need to adjust some more, uh, take a, a layer from the other side. So once you've got that done, you're gonna clean the surface off again, put your cap on, and now you're going to check the torque. The crank torque should be 25 foot-pounds. And then if everything's good, take the cap off, put some lubriplate, and you're ready to go. This will help preserve it until you can get the engine started. Hope this was helpful, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying working on your car.